The surfazia. What is surfazia? Surfazia is the abnormal growth of bones within the ear canal. They are benign growths of the tympanic bone of ear canal. It is thought to be caused by frequent, cold water exposure. Its cases are often asymptomatic. Surfer's ear is not the same as swimmer's ear. Although infection can result as a side effect. What is the difference between surfer's ear and swimmer's ear? Surfer's ear and swimmer's ear are distinct conditions affecting the ear, though both can involve hearing issues. Surfer's ear is a bone growth, exostosis, in the ear canal. It is caused by repeated exposure to cold water. Swimmer's ear, or otitis externa, is a bacterial infection of the ear canal. It is often due to trapped water and moisture. What is the cause of surfer's ear? Surfer's ear is caused by repeated and prolonged exposure to cold water and wind. The cold water and wind irritate the ear canal, thus causing the bone to grow abnormally and form bony growths within the ear canal. This bony growth can narrow the ear canal, leading to trapped water and wax, which can cause ear infections and potentially hearing loss. Surfer's ear is not exclusive to surfing. While surfers are commonly affected, anyone who frequently experiences cold, wet, and windy conditions is at risk. This includes swimmers, divers, kayakers, and other water sports enthusiasts. Is surfer's ear permanent? Yes, surfer's ear is generally considered a permanent condition if left untreated. The bony growths in surfer's ear do not naturally recede. Even if exposure to cold water and wind is reduced or eliminated. While medical management can help with early stages by removing trapped earwax and debris, surgical removal is the only way to effectively treat the condition once it has progressed. What are the signs of surfer's ear? Surfer's ear often presents with subtle or no symptoms initially. However, as the bony growths in the ear canal narrow it, several issues can arise. These include Hearing loss As the ear canal narrows further, hearing can become noticeably muffled or diminished, especially for higher frequencies. In severe cases, the bony growths can significantly obstruct the ear canal thus leading to conductive hearing loss. Pressure or blockage of ear. The bony growths can create a feeling of pressure or blockage in the ear. Water retention in ear. Bony growths can narrow the ear canal, making it difficult for water to drain, leading to trapped water. Recurrent ear infections. The narrowed ear canal can trap water and debris, thus creating an environment that is conducive to bacterial or fungal growth leading to frequent ear infections. Ear pain. While not always present, some people with surfer's ear experience pain or discomfort in the ear, particularly after exposure to cold water or wind. Earwax build up. The narrowed ear canal can trap earwax, leading to impaction. Tinnitus. In some cases, bone growth can cause ringing or buzzing in the ear. This phenomena is called tinnitus.